In this video, I'll show you how vendors can request payouts of their earnings. In the previous video, I set $100 as the minimum amount for a payout. As you can see, my balance is higher than $100, which means that I can request a payout. But before your vendors can request payouts, you have to add at least one payment method. To do that, go to the WordPress dashboard, Payouts, Methods section. For example, I'll add PayPal so vendors will be able to select it in the payout request form and provide a PayPal email. Please note that these are just custom labels that help hosts to understand the required payout credentials. So you can add any payout methods you allow here. Now, let's come back to the user's dashboard and try to request a payout. Here. Vendors will be able to set the desired amount, and here, they can choose a payout method. In the case at hand, vendors can write their PayPal email in this field. However, if you allow a single method only on your website, for example PayPal, it may be a good idea to add a custom PayPal email attribute for vendors, so they will not have to enter it every time they request a payout. Instead, they will be able to save it in their profile form. Once you finish, click on the Submit Request button. Now, as an admin, I have to accept this request. To do that, go to the WordPress dashboard, Payouts section, and select a new payout request. If everything is correct, you should manually make a payment and after that mark this payout as published instead of pending. That's how it works. Keep in mind that payouts are processed manually, so it's better to mention in the site terms your schedule for processing payouts, because it will be much easier for you to process and send all the requested payouts once a week or once a month instead of doing it every day. But if you don't want to process each payout manually, you can enable and set up automatic payouts with Stripe Connect. Let's also check the vendor's balance after we accepted the payout request. As you can see, the balance is lowered now. That's all for this video. Now the website is almost ready, but it's also very important to improve its performance, both for user experience and SEO. In the next video, I'll show you how to do this. 